Tajikistan has many different cultures and traditions. There were various religions, art, literature, and architecture that were brought by foreigners from Europe, China, and Persia. There are archaeological evidence from almost 200,000 years ago that verifies the existence of prehistoric people in Tajikistan. The Elamites, who moved into Tajikistan in about 3000 BC, established communities in the mountain valley. The Persians moved in within a thousand years and built provinces and kingdoms. The Persian Achaemenid dynasty was in rule over Tajikistan from the 6th to the 4th centuries BC. Satraps were local leaders and they administered each satrapy. Roads were built to encourage trade and Persian missionaries spread the Zoroastrian religion. Eventually, Alexander the Great and his Greek forces overthrew the Persian Empire in 330 BC. Alexander took over trading centers, including Kojan, and introduced Greek art and culture to Central Asia. He combined Greek and Persian states into a single superpower. When Alexander the Great died in 323 BC, his empire was divided into four pieces and distributed among the generals. Tajikistan was included in this piece of territory that was given to Seleucus. Many foreign attacks destroyed the Seleucid kingdom after a few centuries. The Kushan people of the Hindu Kush mountains of northern Afghanistan who occupied Tajikistan in the first century AD. The Buddhist Kushan kings spread Buddhist ideals of peace and religious tolerance to the people of Tajikistan. During the Kushan Empire, the economy depended on trade from Southern Europe, the Middle East, and Eastern Asia. There were also other advancements during the Kushan Empire. Extensive irrigation canals were built and allowed farmers to grow crops. Traditional art and handicrafts flourished and trade expanded. Hanjikan became one of the most prominent cultural cities in Central Asia. If the Kushan Empire didn't last when there was an invasion of nomadic Turks from the northeast in the 6th century AD, most of Kushan cities and caravan routes were taken over. The Turks eventually settled in Tajikistan and left their nomadic ways to become farmers and merchants. In the 8th century, there was an invasion of Arabs Ar Ar armies in the Middle East and they conquered Central Asia. The Arabs tried to convert the people of Tajikistan to Islam and destroyed Panjikan, as well as Bukhara and Samarkand, cities now in Uzbekistan. Tajikistan's people eventually began to follow Islam. Local leaders governed sections of the Arab Empire, which consisted of land from North Africa to India. In the 9th century, Sam Saman Koda, a Persian noble, created the Samanid dynasty with Bukhara as his capital. During the Samanid Empire, mining and farming greatly increased. Persian and Central Asian cultures combined, and Bukhara became a major center of Tajik art and learning of Tajik Persian language and literature. Trade flourished and goods were carried to lands as far as the Baltic coast. The Turkic invasion caused the Samanid Empire to collapse at the end of the 10th century. From the 11th century to the 13th century, Tajikistan was ruled by Turkic dynasties that fought amongst themselves. Tajik cities continued to expand and prosper due to the mining of gold and metals. Shiite Islam was introduced by Persian missionaries, and Islam reigned as the main religion in the region. Many Tajik authors were influenced by Islamic philosophies and laws. By the 1200s, the people of Tajikistan were changing and becoming Turkized by influences from the language and culture of Turkic rule. For example, the Persian dialect spoken in Tajikistan borrowed many words from Turkish.